It is expected to be the busiest night in downtown Orlando since the city saddled bars and businesses with new booze rules. Businesses now need to get a permit to sell alcohol after midnight. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lisa Bell. Yeah, glad you're with us. I'm Matt Austin. That rule sparked by a rise in violence in the area. The last straw for city leaders was a mass shooting last July near Wall Street. It left nine people hurt. Less than a week later, law enforcement implemented a secured access plan on Fridays and Saturdays surrounding downtown Orlando with checkpoints. In March, Orlando City Council took it a step further by approving new security measures, including an after-midnight alcohol sales permit. So as of May 1st, any business that wants to serve alcohol past midnight needs to apply for that permit. Tonight, we know at least 20 businesses are still waiting for their permits to be processed. New 6's Brian Didlake spoke with the owner of one of those bars. Their reaction is new at 11. Uh, thousands of people are expected to come downtown over the course of the weekend. Uh, business owners I've spoken to say while people are enjoying themselves, they'll be watching to see how these new rules will affect their bottom line. Like over here, where we see people giving their IDs to security guards for their scanners, as well as being wanted for extra safety measures. We'll see. Um, how enforcement is, but really the city has already been sending out code enforcement. Monica McCown with Orlando Hospitality Alliance says business owners are excited. Tequila! Cinco de Mayo! Restaurants and bars are expected to see hundreds of thousands in revenue this weekend with many celebrating Cinco de Mayo. The city sending this list of the 67 businesses who have made an application to sell alcohol after midnight. Only 47 have been processed and down the list of those still waiting for approval, the other bar located on Wall Street. The city called and they said, look, you know, we're not going to come in and shut you down. The fact that we're working towards the, the goal and we're all in it together. Ryan Davis owns and operates the other bar. He tells me the city has been working with bars still waiting for approval, but says while the application process has been long, it's been relatively easy. They do ask you for a few things that, you know, in the other bar's case, uh, we needed a site plan and that was rolled up in my garage from 14 years ago. After 10 p.m., downtown businesses will have to warn people if an establishment has more than 50 people. Safety protocols like additional security now being paid for by downtown businesses. It really hasn't been any trouble for us to adapt to it. Most of the bigger places already had pretty extensive security procedures already. It's really the cost of the extra duty that's a really big burden on these businesses. A burden, McCown says, will be worth it once crowds have adjusted. I think for the most part, the customers are fine with it or they even like it. You know, um, the safer we can be inside our establishments, the better. A safety in the end is all businesses and the city say they want people to know it's priority number one. As a reminder, all bars without a special permit will have to stop selling alcohol after midnight unless that venue already talked with the city. We'll be following how these will affect businesses as well as patrons as this weekend continues. But for now, we are in Orlando. Brian Ditlake getting results. New 6.